Be able to stimulate my mind with some metaphysical vibrating conversation. Hello collective, it's Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. And today I'm here to show you my Oracle deck collection. So if you're interested, stay tuned. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like this video, comment down below on your favorite Oracle deck, um, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new content. So let's begin with the first deck Oracle deck that I ever purchased, which is the Yoga deck by Olivia H. Miller. And it says the Yoga deck 50 poses and meditations for your body, your mind, and your spirit. So this is the deck right here. It comes with like an instruction manual that's like shaped like the other cards. Um, when it gives you a pose, it gives like what is this, knee hugs. So basically like lying on your back and hugging your knees into your chest. Tree Vrikshasana. Yeah, I learned how to, to read Sanskrit in yoga teacher training like two years ago but if you don't use those words or like that language or if you don't use sanskrit on a daily basis it'll definitely slip your mind the pronunciation but it shows like um pose number four tree and then on the other side it shows figures one and figure two so how you can different variations of tree pose I really like this deck because it not only combines like the body but it does the mind and the spirit so on here it it gives you an affirmation like my foundation is firm my being is flexible and then it also gives you the benefits of for your physical body so it helps to improve your posture helps to elongate your spine and it helps with balancing and centering and opening your groin area so this is a really good deck to use if you're creating like a yoga flow or practice for yourself um, this is number one, Om. So this is what it starts with, basically. This is what they're saying the yoga practice begins with. It has several meanings, um, and it gives you the benefits. Like I said, it gives you the affirmation. And I wanna show you one of the like meditation cards. So this is a firefly meditation card. So that's the back of the card. On the front, it tells you how to position your body to begin this type of meditation. It gives you an affirmation such as be with me and help me to emanate, to emanate light as naturally and effortlessly as you do. So um, that would be you channeling the spirit of a firefly through that affirmation. And then it gives the benefits of this type of meditation for your body, such as it improves your sense of personal boundaries. Um, it protects you from it protects you from other people draining your energy and it protects you from draining others energy as well or taking on their emotions so yeah I really like this deck this is the first Oracle deck that I bought um, because it really helps to deepen your yoga practice after that I think I got the eternal crystals Oracle deck and this is by Jade Jade Sky um, for a time I was using this deck to figure out which crystal, heck, what happens, to figure out which crystal to carry with me on a day to day basis. Very beautiful deck. As you can see, it has like, um, the detail of a crystal on the card. So like lapis lazuli. It shows a small picture of the crystal. It gives you like that background of lapis lazuli. The cards are numbered. So this is card number 24 and it says problems resolved. And it helps work with your third eye and your throat chakra. So it helps with expressing yourself. And um, this deck says lapis lazuli also helps with your sense of awareness. Yeah, I really like using this deck because it's an Oracle deck as like a support when I do a tarot reading for myself or for others. I will show you the card that usually comes up for me from this deck and I don't have this crystal. Like most of these crystals I have for a while I was working, I was basing my collection off of this deck so that it could coincide. So I wanted to have, um, how many crystals are in here? 
44 for the 44 crystals that are in this deck but zincite for the physical body and the root chakra card number 44 is a card that always pops up for me and i don't have this card but for instance if you don't have the card i mean if you don't have the crystal you could use like any crystal a red crystal that aligns with the root chakra or with base um earthly material energy so whenever i get this i usually reach for my red jasper and one very sad thing about this deck is that i misplaced the guidebook and I have a feeling that when I was working as a nanny and I was still like a closet witch, that I left it at one of my clients' houses because I nannied for like multiple families. Yeah, so that's a very cool way to come out of the closet, <laughs> out of the witch broom closet. Leave your stuff laying around and then they have no choice but to put two and two together. I misplaced the guidebook for this and it was like one of those fact sheets for numerology and astrology. That, that hurt because that, that had a really great guidebook with it. Next, let's look at the Meditation Healing book and card set is by Christopher Titmus and it's created to help you energize your mind and restore your body. It came with the book. You open it up, you have the book and then the cards came in a little pack right here and the book was literally glued to this. As you can see, I ripped the book out. Um... These are, as they say, meditation healing cards. So like stillness, this is the card that I did, that I pulled recently and I posted on my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Manifest by Destiny. But yeah, I posted a picture of this card. So it, it gives you an image on the front with the key word. And then on the back, it gives the word again and then it goes into like information about how to be still, what being still means. It gives you a few affirmations that you can use when you're practicing this type of meditation. And it gives you like the when and where. So how best practices to get into a stillness meditation. I love this deck because as I studied psychotherapy and I was giving my clients more information about meditation and I was like um, helping introduce meditation into their lives. It was very big for me to let them know that meditation isn't like sit sit still and be still and be quiet and don't think that's just one type of meditation. There's prayer meditation, understanding meditation, which makes me think you're going to be doing a lot of thinking, love meditation, which puts me in the, the thoughts of like having an intimate connection with someone so this is like an interpersonal meditation um, acceptance positive thinking I think this is a really great way to meditate because you're meditating on positivity you're med meditating on the golden lining or the the good things in life This is a really nice deck because it is very informative. It has the guidebook that goes along with it, which really dives into the different types of meditation, like such as like nature, love meditation, prayer meditation, etc. These cards are awesome because as you can see, they're very thin, they move fast, and they fit into my little baby hand. Next, I have the numerology oracle deck. And it's Oracle, it's um, Advice and Self-Help. It's by Christine Ben Gill and Patrick Stolle. So the numerology Oracle deck is really self-help. I use this as a reference deck. Um, not really the cards, but the guidebook that it came with. The cards, this is what the back of them look like, and then you flip it over. You flip it over. And you see that there's different numbers and different symbols and this is a pretty complex deck I don't really use it I used it when I first got it now it kind of sits on the shelf I do mostly use the guidebook for studying numerology and understanding um, what happens when two different numbers interact or when a seven personality interacts with the eight number eight personality yeah the numerology deck i feel like it's 
it could be really good for a reading. It is pretty complicated. Um, and I feel like I would have to use the guidebook to read these cards. So it's mostly for like self-study and understanding numerology. Next, I have my Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. And these are probably some of my favorite cards. They're larger. I have the, I would say that's the Tree of Life. And it shows, puts me in the mindset of like as above, so below. This is one of the decks that I like to use when I do tarot card readings for self or for other because it puts you in the mindset of how you can use your magic to manifest on earth. Um, I feel like it really helps me to get in touch with spirit and find messages that will help me in the physical realm. A card that I really like pulling from this deck is the Green Man Synergy. For me, this represents nature or creator or source or God or whatever you call it. It has solstice cards in here. So like for instance, summer solstice. This card is good for radiance. So about like shining, self-esteem, um, allowing, allowing your light to shine through. This is also a really nice card that I like to, that I like to look at from this deck, Ceremony ritual or invocation. So it's about working your magic and literally doing physical rituals and um, manifesting through your magic on the earthly realm. But this card is, has these deck, this deck has very beautiful imagery and illustration. And the tree, the grounding, card from this deck has the same imagery as the back of the card. So um, for me, this means that this deck is about grounding down magical energy into this world, like taking the magic that comes from the universe or from with, without and putting it within and allowing it to work for you here during this physical journey that you're on. So my next deck is a Doreen Virtue deck. It's the Doreen Virtue Butterfly Oracle Deck for Life Changes. Really great deck to use with your clients because most people, when they come to you, they're, they're at a crossroads or they're at a point in their life where they're looking to make a change or looking to accept a change or ignite change. I like this deck because the butterfly is one of my spirit animals. in changes eighth house scorpio that's me so i really like channeling transformation and change with these with this deck on the back side it's blue and it has that cute little butterfly it looks like the emoji on the um iphones the butterfly emoji and on the back side it has like a real life butterfly very good picture with flowers like this one's body changes so really when you get this, um, when you pull from this deck, there's not very much clues to what it means. You really get this, um, have to use your intuition with this deck. The guidebook does explain it, of course, and then it gives like additional interpretations. So this one's sentimental, sentimental feeling. So the guidebook would give you this, the basic, um, straight to the point meaning, and then also additional meanings like, um, Maybe not just sentimental feelings for yourself, but sentimental feelings for your, your past self or your higher self or your lower self or in reference to seeing a therapist to talk about sentimental feelings or, you know, like this one, the support card. I know an additional meaning for this. Like when I look at it, I see yellow and blue. That's kind of how I read them. So it makes me think of peace, truth, um, expanded consciousness so going into your subconscious and looking at the things that may trouble you so with the support card it could mean seeking support through a therapist seeking a support group being of support to others so i really like this 
this deck because it allows you to use your intuition and you can really intuitively read the butterfly oracle cards. Next, I have the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck, and this was in my tarot deck collection video. It's here again because, as you can see, it's a tarot and an oracle deck. And I would call it an oracle deck because it, it includes extra cards. It has the chakra cards. So it has the traditional major arcana, the traditional minor arcana, and then also has the seven cards for the um, seven basic chakras that most people follow. So yeah, usually I use this deck as oracle deck and then I, I might take out the chakra cards and use those seven to do a like oracle reading. Next, I have the Moonology oracle deck. And most of these oracle decks are 44 cards. Is that, I didn't know that that was how many cards are supposed to be in an oracle deck. Well, let's stop right here. If you look at, well not this one. This one's a blue angel, like that's the publishing but it still has 44 cards. But on the side of all of these, they say life styles. Like there's the lifestyles right there. Lifestyles right there. Lifestyles right here. And I think lifestyles right there. And that's the publishing company and they all have 44 cards. So maybe Oracle decks um, do have a rule of 44 cards. I never knew that, I never noticed that. But back to the Moonology deck. So this is oracle cards for the different moon cycles. And this is by Yasmin Bolin and the artwork is by Nyx Rowan. And I use this deck. It's really cute. Let the moon be your guide is in the top of the box. And most of the decks, of course, come with a little book like this. It's pretty in depth. I do prefer like a big book but the guidebook comes in handy. There we go, there's the card that we need to see today. New Moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. So be fearless. Very pretty, so it gives you imagery of the um, animal or figure or whatever is associated with the sign and then it shows the moon cycle that the card is associated with and it gives like a nice little affirmation or explanation of what's going on astrologically when the moon is at in this sign and in this cycle here's the south node card so, so it's the symbol of the south node and like pretty imagery of the sky and don't let your past hold you back and then the north node is step out of your comfort zone. And this shows the sign up in the top of the sky while the north node is in the, or while the south node's in the bottom. Here's the blue moon card. Believe in the impossible. Every blue moon. Full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach. So oh, that's pretty. I do like the imagery on the back of the cards. It shows the cycle of the moon or the different phases of the moon. Like I said, with this deck, I use it for reference so I can um, learn more about the different cycles of the moon when it's in the different signs. I don't really use this when I'm working with clients. Um, I would like to though. I don't know how I would use it. In the guidebook, it kind of gives information about how you can use this to do a reading, but I really like to use these cards for reference cards. Now I have the Alana Fairchild Isis Oracle. And I purchased this Oracle deck because on YouTube, Alana, she has 
Well, she has like a CD of meditations that go along with Isis and I enjoy listening to those a lot. And I think somehow I figured out there was an Oracle deck. So when I figured that out, I was like, I gotta get it. And this one is by Blue Angel Publishing. It is 44 cards. So I think I'm gonna have to do an update of Oracle deck. What is Oracle? video because it's looking like Oracle decks have 44 cards in them. So this is the back of the Isis Oracle deck. And then on the front you have illustrations. So this is Rising Sun, the Divine Solar Child Reborn. Eye of Horus. Awakening Divine Perception. There's one in here that I really want to show. Here it is. Divine Destiny. Path of the Divine Warrior. This is probably my favorite card in the deck. You know why. Um, really, the most beautiful thing about that deck is the guidebook that it came with. It's very detailed. It gives it gives the message of the card. So like chart of ascension. It gives you the message of the card. More about the message of the card. It gives you a ritual to do um, that's connected to the message of the card. And then it gives you an incantation to do once you're done with ritual or moving these messages into your everyday life. Divine Destiny. Spiritual work of the higher initiate. Yeah, so I say if you work with Isis or if you are curious about Isis or you want to work with Isis, this is a really great deck to have because every single card is about her or some aspect of her. Really great to work with if you're channeling the Divine Feminine. And as you saw that, those are some really big cards. So the box like is huge. Next, I have my Karma Cards by Monty Farber. This is a 36 card deck with a 96 page guidebook. The guidebook was right here. It's a book, not too big. You slide it in, luckily it wasn't glued. And then right here is the karma cards. They're upside down, but they came in this little paper box. And these karma cards, they're amazing. You'd separate them, um, I'll show you. You'd separate them by planet, sign, and house. So let's see, right now I have the planet Mars, I have the sign Aries, and I have the first house. So let's just do the planet. With Mars, it'll show you spiritual, mental, physical, um, understanding of how you can physically act on Mars energy. So it says like drive, confrontation, action. On the flip side, it has the red, spiritual, mental, physical of how you can think or mentally embody Aries energy or Mars energy, excuse me. So energize, confront, or force yourself. So how you can work with the Mars energy mentally and how you can work with the Mars energy physically. This deck really helps with understanding the different um, signs, planets, and houses. And you can work with it to understand more about your natal chart, more about astrology and the transits that are happening or retrogrades, anything. Here I have the Kama Sutra deck, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. This is by Julianne Balmain. So in this deck, there's 50 cards. I don't think there's a set number of cards you have to have in the Oracle deck, but it looks like over there at Blue Publishing, Blue 
Publishing? No. At Lifestyles Publishing, they have 44 cards in their Oracle decks. So, like the yoga deck that I have, it comes with instruction card or guidebook. That is a card, flips out. And it gives you the history of the Karma Sutra, briefly, how to use the deck. Um, more resources about the Kama Sutra and books that you could use to read about the Kama Sutra. So let me see. And then it gives you audio and visual enhancement that you can use, like music that you can use and movies that you can use to enhance the mood when you're being intimate with self or with other. But this deck is definitely more about Intimacy between couples, the Kama Sutra. Here's some imagery from the cards. This one is one about seduction. The other cards were about Congress. I like this card because there's a peacock right there. And they have some cards like about love. So on the back it gives you like an explanation or suggestions, advice for how you can enhance the love while working through the Kama Sutra, and then it shows the imagery. So there's not different images on every card, but the cards that are in the different sections have the same image on them. Yeah, and I think I purchased this deck to use with clients when I was a therapist, but now it's like, mm, I just use it for myself. If I ever have a client that comes to me strictly about sex or intimacy or sex magic or something, I would definitely use this card to read, or these cards to read for them. This is a card game. It's not really Oracle deck, but this is the deck. It's called Less F Asterisk CK. I think I got this with Spencer's or something. And I bought this at the same time that I bought little dice that have the little suggestive suggestive actions and all of that on there has a wild card so then you can like choose I guess which position you want to use um, so on the back of every card it looks like this and the front it gives you imagery and it says um, what you can do and then it says it in different languages so French Spanish and Italian or no French Spanish and German and for this I don't I wouldn't use it with anyone other than my boyfriend this is clearly like a game to use with your partner so this isn't really like a divination for clients this is like divination for self so this is just like a, a little add-in to my divination collection. And now we're on my last deck. And this is, these were Maverick playing cards. But now they are, can't read my handwriting, but it says feeling cards. And I made these when I was in graduate school. I think it was... In like play the play therapy class yeah, and maybe these in play therapy so they're the regular playing size cards and on the front we put feelings so sleepy rage sad hateful I've never used these to read for a client mm -mm. but it would be really cool to read for them and see what emotions they've been holding on to so for like a really water-based inquiries or a relationship-based, emotion-based inquiries, I could use this deck. Really, this deck is for you to help your clients, like therapeutic clients, 
to give a word or give a description to what they're feeling. It's really cool. So I'm happy that I still have these if I ever have clients like in person that want more of more spiritual guidance than like spiritual readings, we can use this this deck. So that was all of my Oracle decks. Um, I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse into my divination collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below on which Oracle deck you enjoyed seeing in my collection. Um, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new content. Again, it's Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. Until next time, bye. Maybe I'll stimulate my mind with some metaphysical vibrating conversation.